The head of the body is called the crown. It's an unfair name considering how easily it can be sliced off. To say the least, the title is ingenuous. Underneath is the button. It's an inane name compared to the crown. A button. It has no on or function, but we just refer to it as that. Perhaps because of its round shape and small size, it does resemble a press button. The body is deceptive. It seems hard and tough, but it really isn't. All it needs is a few shallow cuts and the whole thing comes apart, though not without bleeding. This procedure seems fairly simple, but it isn't so. There is a step-by-step -step technique that has to be followed. First, the crown is removed. Second, the button is cut out. Third, the cuts are put in to fire the body open. Inside is a magnificent world. A magnificent world made of deep crimson and fleshy cream. Every bit is meticulously packed in place, safe, under a slight covering. Each seed is housed comfortably, nestled in their own little niches, protected by thin membrane-like skins. These membranes separate the clusters from each other. Slowly and steadily, the seeds are removed, picking out one, then another, then another, until a whole bunch just falls out together. Once the seeds are out, all that's left behind is a skin, a membrane, much like a dead carcass, but different. Different because it is as potent with life and energy as the live seeds it once housed and protected. Both within and outside is red. Red, the color of life. But it stains black. Everything it touches. Fingers to nails, clothes to paper. An organic shade of black. This structure, color, and process are all awe-inspiring and divine. Absolutely beautiful. There are times when I'm left completely mesmerized and speechless. And then there are others when I'm flooded with emotions, thoughts, and feelings, evoked by the nature of this being. I never fail to marvel at the way it is composed and planned. Each piece the same, yet different. How very human that is. According to myth, it is believed that in every pomegranate is a seed that is divine, a shortcut to heaven.
I remember devouring a whole fruit at a time in pursuit of that unrevealed seed. However, there was always that one seed that escaped my grasp, fell to the ground, or rolled under the table. It's a mystery, but I always wondered if that escape seed was the seed, the divine, the unattainable one. Scattering the fruit now, I recall what my mother once said when she was seeding a pomegranate. When she was all done, when the entire fruit had been undone, the seeds put to one side and the thick husk cast away. She turned to us and asked, now can you put it all back together? Can you pack it the way it came? food for thought. I can't. I can't put it back together. I don't think anybody can. Can anybody?